They shook my chair upstairs. Really? <laughs> yeah. well, they were down here, and um, I think they just heard it. I called her, and um, she said that uh, she didn't feel anything. I said, well, it shook my chair. I thought somebody hit the building. Really? Yeah, because I was upstairs. Uh, did you hear? How many explosions did you hear? Um, two. Yeah. But it really sounded like somebody just hit the building. Really? It, my whole chair really did shake, like... Huh. I'm not kidding. It was it was a mess. So, so I was we do online sales too, and so first thing in the morning I do that, and mm -hmm. as I come down the stairs I did smell like something was burning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then we looked out the. I called them like I said, and they acted like I was nuts. They thought it was. She's like, well, maybe an earthquake. I was like, no, <laughs> like my chair shook. <laughs> and then, um, you know, my boss came upstairs and he passed the window. That's when we seen all the smoke that was coming from East. Okay. It, it was alarming, you know. Um, <laughs> We still aren't sure if it's toxic or, or anything like that, so that was our main concern. But we still had customers coming and going like there wasn't no explosion. <laughs> <laughs> we did, yeah. Out there. And they wanted to know, you know, then you hear all the, the sirens and stuff that were coming yeah. through. But um, we just hope that everybody that that was there was okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to stay inside so I don't have to breathe it in. Yeah. <laughs> Did the customers say anything about when they walked um, in? They were kind of concerned as far as if we knew what was going on, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, they, you know, were just a little bit concerned as, you know, like we were about the air that they're breathing in and stuff like that and, and making sure everybody was okay. That's yeah. all they wanted to know. Some of them didn't know, but now some of them said that they felt it on their house, even over on Stone Drive. Stone yeah. Drive, um, Gray. Yeah. In gray, they even felt it there. You, know, like you could almost literally throw a stone and hit the Eastman from this store. Yes. I mean, and then find out that there's something going on there. It's got to be kind of... Yeah. It is, and I also live next door, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like double whammied here, but yeah, it is kind of alarming. Okay. Um, scared for... Well, if, if anyone was to hit the plant, I've always wondered about that, and especially with the mass shooting stuff that's happened lately. Yeah. Our world's a little bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you don't know what's going to come out of that plant no, in the air. No, you know? and we still don't know. I mean, they I heard they closed down um, ETSU campuses up here because it was a, maybe a level five is what they're calling it. Mm -hmm. Supposed to turn off your air conditioners and close your windows and stuff like that. Stay inside. Okay. So you better hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, was, what were you doing when the explosion went off? Just sitting in my car. What did you think happened? I thought it was just a dump truck sitting back here, like just maybe like drop the dumpster down or something. Yeah. And then I heard it a second time and I was just reading my book, smoking before I came in. And then my mom texted me and asked me if I was okay. And I was like, what do you mean? And she said, there was an explosion at Eastman. And then I seen black smoke and then a big mushroom cloud over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, did that kind of make you worry a little bit? No? No. We're worried about it? Well, I mean, I guess kind of. And then. I guess where I breathe it every day it doesn't yeah. bother me though. Yeah. I mean, if now and then a fire truck went flying down and then went back this way, but I mean, if I would have seen like all kinds of ambulances and police and fire trucks, then I would have been freaking out. Okay, but, that makes sense. I mean, I, I really just thought it was a dump truck back here or something like, or Braden's doing something crazy. Yeah. And okay. then, <laughs> then that's when I heard well, all of this going on. I, I live up uh, in Bloom Bloomingdale, at the far west end of Bloomingdale, up on top of the hill, looking right down on the city. And it shook my whole house. Did it? So I, I, well, they heard it, and they live in gray. <laughs> they live in gray, and they heard it. Really? Yeah. I thought it was the ammo plant, though, because they always cause explosions. But uh, you didn't hear anything, right? Didn't hear anything. We spoke to a couple of employees from Eastman who said that we that they had a, was an explosion and that they weren't going to be able to come and pick up their orders. So we had to cancel some orders. Uh, it's cut our business more than 50% at least. This really? Week. Yeah, wow. Uh, it's, it's been a pretty big hit um, to the point that we may even close over this, today because we're just getting no business. I mean, on average, we do at least probably 1,100 every morning. Uh, we haven't even done 300 all day so far. Wow. So it's, it's been a dramatic hit. We've lost quite a bit of business. I'm not sure what's going on. We hope everybody's okay, but you know, <laughs> but we don't know anything about it. Now, your, your neighbors next door, Johnny's, they said it sounded like somebody hit their building with a vehicle. Really? So you, you, but you guys didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear a peep. I mean, I also listen to music and yeah. cook on the grill. So I have fryer going, grill going, music going. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, you didn't hear. You didn't feel a vibration or nothing? No, I didn't hear nothing. Um, I actually live like two blocks away from here. And uh, when the Eastman guy told me, I messaged my... Why, more or less my wife, my yeah. girlfriend, and my kid, make sure they were okay, whatever, you know, like, did yeah. they hear about it? She took a picture from outside my window, and you can just see the mushroom cloud and, like, black smoke coming up, so wow. it apparently was something, but I don't, I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, she should have probably been more worried about you because you're like... <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> you're right I'm here. I'm really could throw a rock piece. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But I know that um, I talked to the guys next door as well. They've We've had several people cancel orders. We've yeah. had a lot of people just be like, we can't get out. Is, how big a per- percentage of your business is Eastman? Oh, I'd 70% probably. Yeah. At least 70%. Um, so for them to not have anything today, I mean, it's, it's crippled. It's like okay. We're, it's All right.